As a lifelong University of Nebraska fan, it was only fitting that Rich Kern joined the women's volleyball staff in a volunteer position in 1995. He had one goal, develop a website dedicated to fans. He not only made a platform that helped Nebraska volleyball and its fan base, but all of college volleyball in general. His website, richkern.com, developed into a database that housed results of all women's college matches, ranking systems, open dates portal, and a recruiting database. Now, almost every collegiate coach logs onto richkern.com every day during the season. I got involved in, in volleyball back in about 1987. Uh, I was kind of a hack volleyball player, and uh, I also heard about that Nebraska had a fairly good team. And so I went to my first game, and I just absolutely fell in love with the sport. And uh, Nebraska was really good, and, and obviously they had a good coach. And and, uh, and once I started going to the first Husker game, I never missed a, a home game for almost 20 years. Uh, in 1994, I started learning that there was an internet, and one day during a lunch hour, I was doing a search for volleyball on the internet, and I found there was only seven teams that were uh, available, any information available on the internet, and Nebraska wasn't one of them. But the first uh, two years, I just did it strictly for Husker volleyball, and that was just putting basically their press releases up on the internet. In 1997, I put up my first uh, list of scores for the top 25 because you just couldn't hardly, even back then, you couldn't get scores very easily. Then in uh, 1998, I uh, decided to expand that to all Division One. That got me up to about 1999, and then by then, the University of Nebraska had all their own website going, and so I started out on richkern.com in 1999. It, it didn't didn't strike me that it could actually be a business uh, for quite some time, and so that was just a toy for me. That's why I named it richkern.com. And so uh, I think it's about 1993 that I actually decided, well, I'll start charging for it. Uh, and I got a lot of uh, negative feedback from people. They said, going for the, all the, the money, you know, and, and it wasn't my my intention at all. I just had to start covering my expenses. But the RKPI is my simulation of what the NCAA's RPI is. The RKPI now is very close to what the NCAA is. I'm not a fan of the, of the NCAA RPI. It's not nearly as good as the Pablo ranking. The RPI, is, it doesn't put nearly enough information into it. It's just a win-loss record. And winning 3-0 or 3-2, uh, is there's a big difference to that. But since that is what they use significantly in their choices for the teams, then it's, it's valuable to the coaches and the fans. I hope I've had a positive impact. I, I, ne I never thought of this as, as going into it as a business or it was just something for me to play with. It's, it's just a way of trying to do what I can for the sport. And it's just been good for me and uh, I want to be good for it if I can.